Rocks are made up of certain elements and compounds. Silicon and oxygen are the most common elements found in Earth's crust. These elements combine to form silicates, or common rock-forming minerals. Sandstone is an example of a silicate rock. Rocks are classified according to the types of minerals and other materials found in them. This obelisk was carved more than 3,300 years ago. The carved symbols are still as clear today as they were when they were carved. Some rocks, like the granite this obelisk is made of, can withstand centuries of exposure to weather. Other types of rock break down quickly when exposed to wind and water. Rocks can be classified according to their texture, or how big the mineral grains are in the rock. Coarse-grained rocks have mineral grains that you can easily see with your eyes. This is diorite, a coarse-grained rock. Notice how this rock has bands of color. Some rocks have a banded or layered appearance called foliation. Nice is one of the most obvious examples of rock with a foliated texture. Have you ever seen a rock that looks like glass? These rocks have a glassy or non-crystalline texture. Rocks with a glassy texture have no visible crystals. Obsidian, seen here, is a good example of a rock with a glassy texture. Sometimes visible fragments of rock are cemented together, such as the breccia shown in this image. Breccia contains angular fragments. A similar rock, conglomerate, has rounded fragments. These rocks have a clastic texture. Fine-grained rocks have small grains that may be hard to see without a hand lens. This sample of rhyolite is fine-grained.